Okay, so I'm going to be showing you um, uh, some Lunar mods uh, that you should probably know about in this video. So let's just get started. To start off, you want to press your right shift button, or unless you've set it to something else, to open up the Lunar Client menu. Uh, you can edit your HUD layout here. Okay, and then you have all these mods, and I'm going to go through a couple of them. Something that you should know is that if you go into these settings, if you hover over them, you can see what they do, so I don't need to explain them. And if you go into settings, then it does explain which ones they are. Like, what, what the mod is. So, I don't need to explain anything. But, I do want to talk about, uh, you can add stuff to your HUD layout. The, m the, less, you, the less you have, the more FPS you're going to get, keep that in mind. So I have my clock, my ping, my FPS and my CPS, because they're the most important to me. I also have my pack and my server, which is really helpful. So yeah, I'm just going to go through a couple of them, which are quite important. So these are all personal preference, you don't have to have any of them. So fire height is very important, I have it to 0 0.7, it's quite helpful. Uh, it means that you can see more when the, if the fire is lower than default Minecraft, because default Minecraft has really high fire, so you can't really see your screen. So I have it low because it's very helpful. Uh, smart disconnect, I actually didn't realise that I had it off. Uh, that's very important because it means that you don't accidentally log out. It's happened to me many times before. Uh, there's different like, overlay stuff here. You can have it looking however you want. Yeah, it's quite helpful this. But I'm gonna have, I have mine to a certain one. So you can have different profiles, I guess, I think. Uh, here are your keybinds for different contr uh, different controls. So anyway, let's just ex explain some of the mods. So Hypixel mods is very helpful. I use auto tip, remove guild on tab, I think that's the numbers. I, I actually don't know. So lighting, under lighting, I, I do like to have mine on full bright, it's very helpful. It helps boost, like, gamma and stuff. Crosshair is quite important. Um, I just use the default one, just like a smaller version. Free look is quite helpful. Um, you can't have it on Hypixel though. Turning on item physics means that you have, um, stuff doesn't really help with FPS though, I don't think. So I'm gonna have that off. Particle mod's quite good, cause um, yeah, you can have sharpness on, but it also you can set have different settings for different particles, which I think is quite good. Hypixel bed wars is quite good for bed wars players. Um, these are some nice ones. Um, make game look more interesting with uh, colored beds and hardcore hearts. So when your bed goes, then uh, your hearts turn to hardcore. 1.7 visuals uh, I have on because they look better than 1.8 ones. Yeah, I, I just play around with these. I'm kind of just bored and I have nothing to make a video on. Time change is quite helpful as well. Like you can change it to night or day. I have I don't have it on because I just don't. Toggle sprint and shift. Um, it's quite helpful. Weather changes like time changer, but for weather I think. Yeah. Uh, better sounds actually quite good. It, it, you can change different sounds to, like custom sounds, I think, or something like that. Motion blur is quite good if you want your game looking more smoothly, because if you move, then your game becomes like blurry almost. Don't know why it isn't showing up, really. Ah yes, 3D skins is helpful because it means that uh, your skins just sort of way, way cleaner. Reach display is quite good, just seeing how much reach you're getting. Uh, Nick Hider is for, uh, mainly for people who are nicked. Basically, I think if you put it on, then it shows your real name. Yeah. So it would show up as you, rather than uh, what you're nicked as. That's quite helpful for um, people who are uh, using slash nick. Yeah, as I say, just play around with uh, the settings that other settings that I mentioned because they they do sometimes explain. Um, and just ch uh, I'd go onto YouTube, check out some mods. But those are just some that I have seen and heard of that they that are really helpful. 
so yeah, I hope this was uh, kind of helpful if you're like new to Learn Client or whatever. I don't know. Um, if you want help with FPS boosting, I don't have shadows on. Um, I have very low settings on my Optifine. I've got um, smooth lighting uh, off, graphics fast, uh, 8 render distance, uh, unlimited frame rate. And then I've got fast maths on... They do explain, Optifine does, so you can just play around with them. So yeah, and uh, all my animations are off except for Potion Particles and all the ones on here, like Lava and Portal. So yeah, yeah, definitely have smooth lighting off, graphics fast, and smooth lighting level to bottom. And also I definitely recommend installing a texture pack. Because I, some of them, FPS boost. So yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.